Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. I'm glad you joined me today. It is our mat last math lesson, and Mr. is a little sad that we're not going to get to say goodbye to each other in our classroom, but we are going to get to say goodbye to each other on Monday. So please check Google's um, Class Dojo for instructions on how to join us for our goodbye Zoom party. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have a dance lesson. So I hope everybody can join us on Monday. And tomorrow will be special. So there'll be art and music and PE. And I think there isn't even a field day on the, on the agenda, a virtual field day on the agenda. So we're gonna start our presentation. Get our math lesson started one last time. It's math time. We're going to be talking about big and small today. And one of our favorite songs involves some creatures a, B, C, D, that are small. And they are ants. And the ants go marching. Let's stand up and march. One last time for pre-K. Ready? The ants go marching one by one. Hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching one by one. Hoorah. Today's book is Ants Rule, the long and short of it. Ants Rule, the long and short of it. I don't know why. Ants rule. Here we go. Sorry about that. Ants rule the long and short of it by Bob Barner. And it looks like the publisher is Holiday House and it was published in New York City. And it says, might size engineers construct the perfect roller coaster in this delightful introduction to measurement and data representation. 
data representation is like collecting information and then showing people what the information you found was. It's time to plan the blowout bug jamboree. First, measure each bug. Caterpillars are four ants long, and a bee is two ants long, and the ladybug is one ant long. So there's the data representation. They collected how long something is and then they presented it into a chart. And you guys can do that with your animals at home. Who is longer, caterpillar or bee? Well, we know that the caterpillar is longer. Who is shorter, bee or ladybug? The ladybug was shorter. Is ladybug longer or shorter than the caterpillar? The ladybug is shorter. Here's the bug's name and the name of number of ants long and the caterpillar and the bee and the ladybug. So now they rep they drew a representation of their data a little bit differently. So you know how yesterday we measured our um, objects with beans? Today you guys can measure with other objects and then you're gonna create a chart to represent the data. So this is gonna be your toy. And how long is it? So is it one pencil long, two pencils long, three pencils long? And then you're gonna have, so if you have a toy car and your toy car is two pencils long, then you can represent that data by there. If you have a toy doll and the doll is one pencil long, then you can represent it with one box. If you have a block and the block is three pencils long, then you're gonna color it three blocks. So that's called data representation. You're gonna collect the data, which is measuring the objects, and then you're gonna represent the data by giving us a representation of what the data looks like. Who is the shortest? Who is the longest? You can look at your chart to figure that out. There are bigger bugs to measure. The walking stick is six ants long and the butterfly is five ants long. Beetle is three ants long. The measuring goes on while the ants begin to build. There's another representation. And we know that the walking stick is the longest and the beetle is the shortest and the butterfly is shorter than the walking stick, but longer than the beetle. And then we have, how long is each bug? We have to go back and find the answer. You guys can do that for your assignment today. Take a picture. We have one ant, two ant, three, four, five, six. The ants keep working but they need to know how many bugs will come to the jamboree. There'll be five ladybugs and three bees and two beetles and two caterpillars and two butterflies and one walking stick. So there's another right way to represent your data. Will all the bugs be surprised? Yes, because the ants have made a Blowout bug jamboree buggy go round <gasps> roller coaster. Wow, that's pretty cool. And I like how they represented the data, and I want to encourage you guys to do that with your homework assignment today. So let's check and see what our assignment is for today. So you're going to search around your home for big and little items, toys paper or anything. Have your child measure each item and sort these items from biggest to smallest. And then you're gonna make a chart with you're gonna write the name of the item here and then you're gonna write how many it was across. So if you use a marker, you're gonna how many markers is it across? If you use a bean, how many beans is it across? Um, those are some ideas on, make sure you write your on how to do your, the assignment today. 
write your full name and take a picture and submit it to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is our last distant learning lesson. We've learned so much. We've done counting. We've done subitizing. We've done estimating. We've measured. We've compared. We've done so much in math, and I'm so proud of you guys, and I have full expectations that you guys are going to do very well in kindergarten next year. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations to the kids. Well done to the parents. Where did my thing go? And I look forward to hearing more good things about how everybody's doing in kindergarten next year. See you guys later. Check back tomorrow for our math virtual field day and art lessons on Google Classroom. And we try to post them on Class Dojo, but we don't always get to, um, it doesn't always translate on Google Classroom. Um, it's not a picture. Um, but then also check back because Mrs. Seal will be posting directions for our final goodbye party, Zoom party. It's going to be Monday at 1030. You are not going to want to miss it. It is going to be our last hip hip hooray dance party for room 18. All right, see you guys later. I miss everybody. See you Monday. Bye bye.